So today I'm going to be doing a first impression and then a review after I've worn it for a few days of the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I have actually uh, done a first impression on this a couple of years ago and I didn't like it. I feel like looking back I may have applied a bit too much so essentially this is like a revisit of that first impression video. I don't know. I just thought everyone loves it. Maybe I missed something. I'm going to give it another go. And then if I really don't like it, then we know I really don't like it. It's meant to give you high coverage with a matte finish. I think the name gives that away. And it also claims to last for 24 hours, which is an insane claim. It just says here on the back, smooth onto skin in circular motions for flawless looking coverage. So I'm guessing that they want you to apply with your fingers. I will apply one side of my face with my fingers and then the other side using my trusty beauty blender. I have the shade vanilla. There is one shade lighter than this one. I think it's porcelain. And I was actually going to get that one. Now, I'll just explain. I do tend to be vanilla in the majority of drugstore foundations. However, I'm really finding at the moment that foundations are oxidizing on my skin. So I wanted to get the lighter shade because I thought, well, at least it's a bit lighter. If it oxidizes, it won't be like super dark. But basically the L'Oreal girl kind of taught me into getting vanilla. She said it definitely doesn't oxidize you won't have a problem. So I just thought, you know when someone said that to you, you've asked them a question, they've given you their professional opinion. And then you think, well, I can't like override her opinion because that would just be rude. Because I didn't want to say, what would you recommend? And then she say, oh, I recommend you get vanilla. And then I just go and get porcelain anyway, because that would just be a really ridiculous kind of interaction to have with someone. Okay, so I'm just shaking because it said shake well. So I hope that's not the tap that I can hear. Okay, so that's what it looks like on my hand. It is not very runny, but it the shade looks really, really good actually. So, okay, so I'm going to use my fingers for this side of my face. Um, I I have oily skin, so I'm always looking for foundations that are going to hold up well on my skin and not patch and um. I also work in an office and I tend to apply my foundation pretty early in the morning and then I don't take it off till like so say I tend to apply my foundation at about six o'clock in the morning and then I don't take it off till about four so I do need a good foundation that I can rely on to stay put yeah I do tend to have I do tend to wear foundations for a long time. Ah, this seems to be going on really nicely. I mean, it definitely is matte. If I can remember correctly, I think the problem that I had last time with this foundation was that it just ended up looking really cakey and it got patchy on my nose and I just didn't like the overall look of it. Like it's super matte if you compare. I must say as well, the application with my fingers was super easy. Like, and it seems to have gone on really nicely and I actually, I have no complaints whatsoever so the shade seems perfect as well which is thumbs up to the L'Oreal girl I should have trusted her on uh, this side of my face it definitely does look the tone of my skin looks a lot more even uh, the kind of redness has definitely been hidden um, I'd say in terms of my pores you can still see them probably I'd say just as much as on the unfoundationed side you can definitely see a, a difference and I'm liking it. Uh, the only thing is, it is very matte. I mean, there's no character whatsoever to this foundation. It has got like quite pink undertones as well. I can see on my hand where it's drying. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it definitely does look pretty pink. So I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender for the other side of my face. And we shall see how this looks. I never know how much to apply with these foundations, but I have kind of noticed that with fuller coverage foundations, less is definitely more, uh, which probably makes perfect sense really. But I think in the past, I've always tended to just apply a little bit too much and then they end up looking cakey, which isn't the foundation's fault, it's my fault. So, okay, so I think 
that went on super smoothly. Can't really see a, much of a difference in terms of the application. I think both sides went on really nice and easily. Okay, so I've applied the <coughs> rest of... <coughs> Are you okay, bud? Okay, so I've applied the rest of my makeup now yeah. and everything went on really, really nicely. What I will say is this foundation is super matte. Look, like... my new top. Oh, yes, that's nice. Everyone's saying, oh, that's nice. Andrea's got a new top. So yes, everything went on really nicely and it, my skin feels great. It doesn't feel heavy. My skin does feel a slight bit dry. So I'm just going to wear this... Uh... <coughs> so I'm just going <coughs> to... Right, okay. That's enough now, guys. <coughs> I'm going to wear this foundation for... So I'm just going <coughs> to... So I'm just going to wear this foundation now for a few days. What's going to happen next? What do you want to happen next? A fresh head and seat. Okay. I've worn this foundation a couple of times now and the main thing that just kind of comes to mind about this foundation, it's just so drying. It's just so drying. Every time I smile, I feel like my face is going to crack. I'm not being over dramatic either. I really, like I'm a very smiley person, but today, I've just not been smiling that much because I feel like my face is literally going to crack. I also don't like the way that this foundation wears throughout the day. As soon as I start to get a bit oily, the foundation just kind of patches up. Other foundations, if I start to get oily, I just tend to get shiny. Oils just kind of break up the foundation. I don't like that because it just looks awful. <laughs> basically. But yeah, it just feels super dry and I know it's a matte foundation and I know matte foundations can make your face feel dry, but this one is, it's just uncomfortable. It's not a bad foundation and I would say if you're oily, I would give it a go, but just be prepared that it may get patchy on you if you do get oily because I don't think it's as good as the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless basically. I think that one holds out a lot better it feels comfortable on the skin it doesn't feel dry i know that this one's very popular and i think it's just, it's simply a case of what works for me won't work for someone else and blah 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 it looks nice i don't have a problem with how it looks this isn't a foundation that i'm going to be wearing every day i'm going to have it there i might give it away to someone actually probably give it away to someone now i think about it don't hate it i just don't like it don't like it but yeah I would definitely say give it a go it's not that expensive it's expensive for drugstore but it's not like super expensive so maybe give it a go if you're interested I know a lot of people do like it for me didn't really like it especially because I've got kind of aging skin now so I'm already a bit self-conscious about when I smile my fine lines come out and it, with this foundation I just feel like it's I can feel my fine lines, like when I smile like this, I can kind of feel them more just because the foundation seems to be like stuck in my fine lines, I don't know. The second time wearing this, I wasn't any more impressed than I was the first time. It also has a really bad habit of like uh, just patching up on my nose, my nose of all places, I didn't even think my nose was particularly oily but apparently it is. Always thank you for watching and I will be back soon with more reviews.